And welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. My name is Melissa and I'm here to lead you through chair yoga. We will practice together for 30 minutes today. So just a reminder to listen to your body. If any of the stretches don't work for you, please skip them, come on out and modify. Things that you'll need for your practice today is you'll just wanna have a chair. So a chair at your desk is great. If it has wheels, you may wanna put them in the lock position so you're not rolling around too much. And the most wonderful thing about our practice today is all of the stretches that we'll be working with, you can easily weave them into your work day. So if you're experiencing a bit of neck fatigue, think back to some of the stretches that we did. And even if you have 30 seconds, you know, 60 seconds, it can be quite beneficial for your body. Today, we will focus on the full body. So we'll just do a really nice full body stretch and we can focus on those areas of common complaints like wrist, shoulders, upper back, low back, try to get down to the legs as well. So as we begin today, let's come on to a comfortable seated position. You may want to scoot towards the edge of your seat and that will help you to elongate your spine. Maybe take a peek down to your legs, create 90 degree angle there in the legs. If you can lift and lower your seat, maybe adjusting yourself so that your hips are lined up with your knees and that your knees are lined up with your hips. And let's try to feel that the shoulders are over hips. Maybe imagine that you were sitting against a wall so that the spine is nice and straight. Sometimes when we sit into the back of the seat, we can round a little bit. So this will just help to help us have a little bit of better posture here. Starting with three shoulder rolls, begin to take your shoulders up to the ears. We'll create a nice large circle and then relax your shoulders as you exhale. Take your shoulders up, back, down. One more time. And release. So we'll take some time here just to close the eyes. And give yourself some time to center. So this is a wonderful opportunity to release the day so far. To really set the space for you having some time for yourself to really take care of your body, to take care of your mind. And I know so many times we have so many things on the mind, the things that we need to do, our to-do list. So maybe imagine that you could set all of those things that you need to do on a shelf and they'll still be there when we're done. So it doesn't matter, no need to worry or stress about them through the class today. Maybe just scanning your body here and trying to relax your shoulders a little bit. So many times we hold tension in the shoulders, they get so tense up towards the ears. So let's try to let them relax with your exhale. Also, the jaw tends to hold tension, maybe clenching the teeth, maybe grinding. So try to find softness there as well. Maybe take the awareness to the eyebrows. Sometimes the eyebrows will curl with a bit of tension. So seeing if you can allow for a little bit of softness there. And gently feel your chest rise and fall as you inhale and exhale. If you'd like, set an intention for your practice today. And this could be anything. It might be that you want to relax a little bit. It might be that you are holding tension and you want to release that. So there's really no right and no wrong intention. Let's take a moment here, bringing your hands up and overhead. Bringing your hands into steeple, so fingers will interlock, release the index fingers. Nice full breath here to lengthen. Shift to the left and the right, so we'll create a bit of a wiggle here in the waist, side to side. And then each time that you create this movement, really try to open it up the ribs. So we have all of these little muscles in between the ribs, trying to give them a nice stretch. Take a moment to pause, release your hands to the left, and then just hold this one here. So maybe imagine that your left hand could 
pull your right hand to the left side of the room. So just moving you a little deeper into the lateral stretch for your spine. We'll come back on up to center. We'll realign here. Full breath to length and take the hands to the right. And trying to feel the left sitting bone pressing down. So sometimes that sitting bone will lift up and roll up. So let's try to press it down, get that nice even connection here in the body. We're gonna come back on through the center. Let's gently relax our hands down and bringing it into some circles for the torso. So gently shifting the weight around from side to side here. And then as you're circling, just feel your body reacting to the breath and reacting to the movement. So as we shift the weight to the right, maybe feel the left sitting bone, maybe feel the left leg lifting up and lifting off of the ground. And circle in the other direction. So just reverse that movement. And then as you're circling here, just trying to melt away tension. So letting your back muscles try to relax. This one is so good for getting into your low back, getting into the mid and into the upper back. And then bringing yourself to stillness here. Hands can come to the heart. Nice full breath here. Exhale, twisting to the right. So as we twist, one option would be to take your left elbow onto your right leg. If you wanted to give yourself more of a twist, you could try to hook that left elbow on the right knee. And then encourage the prayer hands to the center of the chest and the heart. As you inhale, feel your spine lengthen. On the exhale, let your twist deepen. Back on through to center. Nice little breath here to lengthen and twist to the left. Right elbow hooks on your left knee. Prayer hands to the center of the chest. Breathe here. You want to really lengthen the spine on the in breath. Allow for your twist to deepen on the out breath. And release. Let's put ourselves back on through to center. Let's realign here. Hands will sweep to the sky. Let's bring our index and our thumb to touch. So we're just going to do a little tap together. Gaze floats up. And then relaxing your hands down. Let's also take our gaze down. So just gently relaxing your head. Hands sweep up, let's reach up and stretch up, maybe letting that index and thumb come together. And then gently releasing. And letting that one go. Let's gently release the hands at the heart space. Keeping our hands together in prayer position, let's take our hands and shift them off to the left. And we're gonna hold it here. So let's try to glue the palms together and try to have your prayer hands to the left as best as you can. So we all experience each stretch really differently. So you may feel this one in the arm, in the hand, in the shoulder. And we're gonna come back to center and we'll realign here. Let's shift our hands off towards the left, or right rather. And as we take the stretch on the other side, maybe feel that left hand pressing into that right hand to just press your hands to the right a little bit more if that would be accessible. Good, let's try that one more time on each side. Shifting the hands to the left and trying to get those hands to the left as far as you can. Also try to relax your shoulders from your ears. So you don't want your shoulders to creep up to the ears too much, especially that left one comment to shift up. And just draw it down. Put yourself back to center, realign and hands up towards the right. 
See if you can relax your right shoulder from your ear. See if you can relax your left shoulder from your ear. And back on through to center. So let's just shake out those wrists a little bit. Give them a nice little shake out now. Hands will come back on through together into prayer. Gluing your palms to touch and then try to flip your wrists over. So we're going to feel that our fingertips are pointing down. And this part of your hands, really try to glue it in towards one another. So this one might kind of peel. So really try to press those palms together there. Good. And then as you have your hands slip down, try to encourage your palms up towards your face as well. But then also try to relax your shoulders from your ears. And we're going to just flip it over and just do a little release here. Maybe encourage those palms down a little bit. And let's go one more time. We're just gonna flip those wrists over. Encourage the palms up towards your face if you can, but then encourage your shoulders away from your ears. And release, we can check that one out. It's always so good to give a little attention to the, the wrists and the hands. They're always at the computer, at the keyboard there typing and on the phone texting and scrolling and all the things. So it's always good to give them a little TLC. So let's take our palms together, hands at the heart. And what we're going to do is try to press the prayer hands to the right. So you might feel that this left hand kind of peels a little bit, but we're going to really try to press our fingertips off to the right. And then maybe in your own body, just noticing where you may feel that stretch. And back to center, prayer hands reset, release off towards the left. And to intensify the stretch, you can encourage your left elbow up towards the sky as well. So this one might kind of like droop down a little bit, so sweep it up. And release, back to center, neutral prayer. Hands to the right. We're just going to press those right fingertips to the right, feeling the palms separate a tad. And reset. We'll go one more time off towards the left. And release. Let's shake that one out a little bit. Working with our wrist circle, let's take our hands up to the sky. Gently circle out your wrist. And as you do this, you can just gently let your hands float down. Such a simple movement, but so beneficial. And I find that I'll do these wrist circles quite a bit throughout the day. Now reverse and circle up. Reverse and float it down. Let's bring our hands in line with our shoulders. So we're gonna float them right on up into a T position. Keep those circles going. Now let's bring our hands in towards one another to center. And reverse, float them up. And back to center. And reverse. Letting your right hand relax down. We're gonna take that right hand down. We're gonna take our left hand up. And now we're going to try to circle and we'll meet in the middle here. So we're just gonna flow at a diagonal. And reverse. And we'll float in and we'll float out one more time here. Right hand reaches and stretches up, left hand relaxes down and circle and we'll meet in the middle.
Good. Let's bring our hands together. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch. And circle out through the wrists here. Maybe find large circles and maybe find smaller circles. And circle in the other direction. So we'll just reverse that movement. And let it go. Let's give our wrists a bit of a shake on out. Cross your leg. Take your right leg right up and over. Take a nice deep full breath here to lengthen and fold forward as you exhale. So we're just hinging at the hips and folding down. You can gently relax your arms down if you'd like. And then just letting yourself fold here. So a little bit of pressure on the stomach is a good thing. You can feel like almost like a massage for the inter for internal organs, for the digestive system. So just try to let yourself relax into this one as best as you can. Also, anytime the head is below the heart, it can be a gentle inversion. It can be very relaxing, very soothing for the nervous system. Let's bring ourselves back on up. We'll float into neutral right foot plants. Left leg comes up and over. Try to get nice and grounded here evenly on the right side and the left side. Nice full breath here to lengthen. Come on down. Let's fold forward as you breathe out. Maybe relaxing the hands down. Feel the eyes closing here. Notice if this stretch feels a little easier on this side, maybe it feels more challenging on this side. And release. Let's bring ourselves back on up to neutral. Reaching on to get the sides of your chair. Feet come out nice and wide. And let's do a little windshield wipe to the right and to the left. And then back on through the center. Let's come on up to stand. And as you come on up to stand, I'd love to use the back of the chair for the stretch. So we'll just flip that seat away from us. And just be able to access the back of the chair. So we'll take an opportunity to square ourselves to the chair. So we'll have our feet in line with our hips and toes are pointing straight forward. Right foot will take a nice big step back. And this will bring us into a bit of a lunge. So we'll have a nice deep bend in our front knee. And then our back leg is very active. We'll try to be right on the toes of the back foot. So the majority of the foot is lifted. Let's begin to bend and straighten the front leg. We're just going to work our way into some really nice calf stretching, hamstring stretching. Can also be a wonderful stretch for getting into the hips and getting into the legs as well. Let's begin to straighten the front leg. We're just gonna come into a little bit of a gentle fold. So you can kind of hinge forward a tad. Try to feel that left leg as straight as possible. It's gonna give you that nice stretch for the back of your leg. And let's begin to take our left hand to the sky on the exhale. So we're just gonna try a straight leg twist. And you might feel that that back heel is lifted up and that's okay. We'll have both of our legs very straight and active, engaged and energized. Good, let's bring ourselves back to the center. We'll bring our right foot to meet our left foot, nice big hop forward. Left foot takes a float back, we'll be right up on the toes. And begin to bend and straighten your front leg. So one important alignment cue on this one is to make sure that your front knee doesn't bend past your ankle. So we want to feel that our knee is in line with our ankle. Knee can be behind the ankle, but we just don't want it to shift too far forward. 
And these stretches are also great for our hip flexor and our psoas. So those are gonna be those muscles in the front of the left hip. We, they, they tend to shorten when we're sitting a lot. So this is great for opening them up. Straighten your front leg. Let's do that little fold forward. So have your back heel lifted and both of your legs are straight. And just really trying to activate the body as best as you can. Right hand can rise on up. We'll try for our twist. And then as you're twisting here, feel your spine lengthening on the in breath, letting your twist deepen on the out breath. Let's bring ourselves back to center. Let's float ourselves into our lunge and then we'll take our left foot to meet our right foot. Feet can come out nice and wide. We'll sweep the arms side to side. We'll work with empty coat sleeve stretch. So take a good reset here. As you come to stillness, let's bring those feet right in line with our hips. Hands can reach up and overhead. Right hand reaches for your left wrist and take your left foot to the right. So we'll just begin to cross the legs. Full breath here to lengthen. Let's bring our hands to the right on exhale. And almost create a little bit of sensation that that right hand could pull your left hand to the right side of the room. And we'll take ourselves back to center. Feet stay just how they are. Let's change up the grip in the hands. Release to the left. Ground evenly through both of your feet, inside and outside of each foot. And release. Let's gently we'll come back to center. Hands reset, feet reset. Hands will sweep up, breathe in. Left hand for your right wrist. And now your right hand moves to the left. So we'll just try that on the other side. Let's come on off to the left. And get nice and grounded through both of your feet. So you don't want to be pressing into one foot and then light in the other. So nice, grounded, even connection on this one. Float yourself back to center. Let's change up the grip. Realign, lengthen, and release to the right. Try to feel your left hip pressing to the left and just see if that helps you move a little deeper. We're going to let that one go. We'll come back to center. Hands reset, feet reset. Let's try yoga mudra. So for this one, hands come behind your body. Either fingers interlock and palms will touch. You can also square the wrists as well. Try to open the chest and the heart space. Feel free to stay here if you would like. Option to fold forward on exhale if you want it a little bit more. And then if you're folding, you can have your arms along your back and you can also release your arms away from the back body if you'd like. Try to relax the fronts of your shoulders. I'm just noticing if that helps you move a little bit deeper into the shoulder stretch. Let's bring our hands onto our low back. Hands can relax down towards the ground. Let's roll on up through the spine. We'll come on up one vertebrae at a time. As you come to stand, let's take our shoulders up, back, and down. Let's try to balance. So for this one, if you wanted to grab onto your chair, that can be a nice support. Let's take our right knee into our chest. So fingers will interlock and gently support the front of the knee. So again, you can have that left hand on the chair if you need it. Now, anytime we try for a balancing pose, we want to find a drishti. We want to find one spot to focus concentration, to focus awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eyes shift at all. Let's take our right knee to the right. We're going to move into a nice inner leg stretch here. Left hand onto your chair. Maybe have your left hand up at a bit of an angle. You could gaze off your left fingertips to get more of a stretch here. Feel your shoulders relaxing from your ears. Breathing in, breathing out. Let's bring ourselves back to center, knee to the chest, hug it in, and let's take that right knee to the left. Right hand to the right. Gaze off the right fingertips. Try to relax the right shoulder from the right ear. Inhale and exhale. Back through to center, knee to the chest, let's hug it in. 
and we're going to release it down. So right foot to left. If you need that chair, feel free to shift it off to the other side so that you have that support that you need. Left knee comes up and into the chest and into the stomach. Fingers interlock, supporting here. So this one's called the dancing Shiva stretch. And so beneficial for that standing leg, strengthening all of the muscles through the foot, through the ankle, and through the knee. Left knee, let's open it off to the left, right hand to the right. Now we move into a wonderful inner leg stretch, nice hip stretch, so many benefits. And back to center, knee into the chest, let's hug it in. And then we'll take our left knee to the right. Find your twist. Gaze off your left shoulder. And release. Let's bring ourselves back on through the center. We're going to come on out of this one and shake it out a little bit. Shake out your legs and shake out your feet. Good. Let's bring it back to seated. We'll find that nice, comfortable seated position, just how we started our time together. And just be mindful of sitting towards the edge of your seat so that you can elongate your spine, engage your core. Let's bring ourselves into three shoulder rolls here. Shoulders come up, back, down, inhale. Inhale, one more time, and release. Now let's bring that into some neck circles. Lowering your chin to your chest, lengthen the back of your neck. Right ear to the right shoulder. We're gonna float into a bit of a neck stretch here. Coming back through the center, chin to your chest. Release your head to the other side. Back on through to center, chin to your chest. Begin to circle your head. So maybe find large circles and maybe find smaller circles here. And reverse, flow in the other direction. Coming back on through to neutral, taking that opportunity to close the eyes, realign the back of the neck, check in with yourself, become aware of your mind and your body in the moment. Feel your mind calm, relax, at ease. Feel your body aligned and balanced. Tension that you may have come to class with. Feel how that has released with yoga. Letting the eyes open when you're ready. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks, Melissa. Thank you're you. welcome. You're welcome.